we've got a fabulous show for you. Lots of laughs coming your way, so let's get to it. Our first funny lady of the evening was born in Washington, D.C., but don't expect her to be politically correct. You might have seen her on the Drew Carey Show, My Wife and Kids, and Ugly Betty. She starred in her own sitcom called Thea. Please welcome the very funny Thea Vidal. <laughs> Look at all these young women in here. There's some young girls in here. Oh my God. How old are you, girl? 27. 27. <laughs> you think your breasts gonna stay perky like that, don't you? <laughs> They're not. One day you're gonna wake up, one gonna be over here, one gonna be over there. You're gonna lift one up and see a gummy bear. <laughs> and you're gonna eat it and say, ain't God good? <laughs> Oh my goodness, I just, I'm just so, I just hate children. And um, <laughs> no, no, really, I'm being honest with you. I can't stand children. And I feel personally that if you don't have children, you don't get to hate them. Cause you got to have one to hate one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I, I'm really sick of people acting like you new parents getting on TV talking about, my child is my best friend. Your child is not your friend. Your child is your offspring, your progeny. Your child can be your friend when they pack their stuff and get the hell out your house. <laughs> and you know, I, I, I can say this on, honestly because I'm a veteran parent. See, I'm a veteran. I've been in the trenches of parenthood. I know what to do. <laughs> Children are stupid, <laughs> especially teenagers. Oh, oh, are they not the worst? Are they not the stupidest? That's why. I, I know some of you new parents don't know this, but teenagers come with a disease called, yeah, it's called entitlement. <laughs> and, and they think they're entitled to stuff. And I have an inoculation that you, you can buy from me. It's a wooden spoon and some ads for a job. <laughs> Get your ass a job. That's what you do. That's what you do. Get a job. Teenagers, especially teenage boys, they are the dumbest. <laughs> and you ever been around, you, they have, my son talking about, he don't see, his POV is, what's the big deal about me putting the peanut butter in the refrigerator? <laughs> I said, really? Really, son, really? I said, um, go get the peanut butter. Now get a slice of bread. Now try to spread that peanut butter on that bread. <laughs> You see the bread is tearing, what? Right upside the head with the wooden spoon. That's my job. <laughs> and I've been thinking about parenting a lot because see, I feel like some of you new parents are missing babysitting opportunities. Like for one, I know you don't know this, but you should need to watch the Discovery Channel because on the Discovery Channel, animals, once they're fed and they're full, they're not hungry anymore. They're not like humans, they don't keep eating. They're not gluttonous. So say you need a babysitter, just drop your child off by the zoo. <laughs> yeah, drop your child off by the zoo. You'll be surprised how well behaved they are. <laughs> and they learn how to run in a pack like wolves and stuff. <laughs> and you know, and you know, leave your child with a Kodiak bear. Who, who don't like fresh fish? Who don't like fresh salmon? <laughs> who don't, who don't? Man, please. You go to the daycare center, there's always that one woman that's bragging about her child. Oh, my little Tiffany, you know what she did? That little girl, she just said all her colors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well this bitch can catch a fish with her mouth. <laughs> fresh fish. Can your bitch catch a fresh fish? <laughs> Some of you think your children are so special. Tonight when you go home, watch them while they sleep. That's when they're most angelic. That's when they're most angelic. And I want you to look at your children and don't nobody have to know but you and Jesus. <laughs> and think to yourself, which one of these children would push me down a flight of stairs for some insurance money? <laughs> That's why I sleep with a gun. <laughs> I do a lot of traveling to get away from my children. And, um, you know, I went to Iraq. And uh, 
uh, I'm going to tell you this. I didn't want to go, but my friend said she had chicken, so I said, okay. So, um, <laughs> and I'm a big fan of movies, and I love horror movies. And I love horror movies, but not on the plane. Because, see, really, think about it. You don't want to see snakes on the plane <laughs> when you own the plane. You know what I'm saying? You want to see snakes on the plane when you're in your house where you can find a weapon or something <laughs> where you can hide. You're on a plane. You just stuck out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm on the plane, right? And uh, I had a miracle candy bar. And um, <laughs> thank you for getting that. And um, I'm on the plane, and they show Paranormal Activity Part 2. So I'm in the plane, I'm looking around. <laughs> and I'm watching the movie, and the spirit is moving the chairs and stuff around in the house. Now, the woman, she's trying to tell her husband, he don't want to hear that. You know what I'm saying? He don't want to hear that. Okay? And I'm just watching, and I'm watching. And there's a part in the movie where she has like a five-month-old baby. And, and the baby starts to cry, and the mother runs upstairs to go see to her child as any mother would. And when she gets in the child's room, the baby is being held in midair. <laughs> she goes to reach for the baby. The spirit drags her tail down the stairs, out the door, and kicks her out the house. And I thought to myself, that could never happen to me. Because mm -mm. I can get another baby. <laughs> then I thought about what kind of black person could live in a haunted house. And I figured it out because the candy bar had kicked in real good. <laughs> and it's somebody on section eight. <laughs> Think of a big black woman smoking Newport. <sighs> You gonna stop moving this furniture around, I know that. <laughs> I put the furniture where I wanted the furniture to be. <sighs> and when you pick the baby up, you change the baby. You ain't running nothing in here. You wanna haunt something, haunt one of these bills. Get that electric bill while you're haunting stuff, shoot. You gonna mess around and make me get Reverend Jenkins to pray you up out of here. <laughs> Float that Hennessy over here. It's nice to be in love, and you should be in love, and treat your man good if you can. If, if you can't, just, you know, put some sugar in this gas tank. <laughs> I'm gonna tell y'all one more thing, and I'm gonna get the hell on. <laughs> I was noticing you, and you like, you have, look like you have big hands and big feet. <laughs> and you know what they say about a man that has big hands and big feet, don't you? <laughs> He's a clown. <laughs> Thank you for letting me be myself, y'all. Thank you. <laughs>